Hey everybody, it's Dr. Quad and the doctor is in. So I saw this game on the Xbox store, picked it up. Because I heard that it reminds, I've had my eye on it for a little bit. It reminds, it supposedly reminds me of, or supposedly, reminds me a little bit of uh, Dead Cell by the look. I know nothing about it. Um, it looks a little less pixelated. Uh, hopefully you can map the if you can map the commands that'd be great. Let's check out the options, master volume, sound effects, controls. Can you map these? Oh my god, you can! That is amazing. Torch, main weapon will go B. Secondary, two-handed weapon. Cap frame rate. No, we don't want to do that. Handed weapon. A oh, ship. And just reset all the defaults. Secondary weapon. Oh, what's the difference between? Secondary weapon, two-handed. Secondary must be like a range, maybe? I'm not sure. Target lock, dodge. Wow, this is really similar to my, um, my other builds for like my, uh, what if there's jumping? Oh, it's into the Lost Temple. We got save slots, nice. Let's check it out. Know nothing about the story. I don't even know if there is a story. We got a traveler going in. Yeah, I figured I would just pick this up amongst the myriad of other games I'm playing. Show you a couple runs. Because apparently that's what they are, is runs. I'm really bad at games like this, especially... Because I, I can't narrate, I can't talk, because... Mouth is occupied with all. I mean, the whole time. Looks like dead, like dead cell kind of combo with uh, maybe the look of Diablo, like from the top-down perspective. Whereas dead cell is more of a side scroller. All right, we got a torch. Wow, we don't even get a tutorial. It just jumps right in there. I don't even know what this UI is. All right, um. We can light that up. Look at us looking around. Definitely a different art style. I like it because the movement's all... Um... Movements all left stick. Oh, we're getting sucked in. Alright, what do we do here? I might change. Give up. Oh, let's change the torch. There we go. I hacked those, not really sure. Oh, I do have a weapon. Look at these baddies. Light and darkness. Light reveals hidden traps. Standing in darkness increases all damage. Wow, plus 50%. Watch out for the indicator at the bottom of the screen to let you know if you stand in the light or darkness. Okay. Use a torch action to equip and attack with your torch. Torch can spread fire to Brazil to enemies. Elements on fire spread light around. That's nice.
Oh, look at these traps. Ooh, deadly. Use the dodge action to quickly roll and evade enemy attacks or traps. Each dodge requires one of your stamina points. We have five. Visible at the feet of your character once stamina is depleted. Not dodge anymore. Stop attacking or dodging for a short time to punish. Dodge to evade attacks. Like who's Nice. Use the attack um, actions to equip and attack your weapons. Chain multiple main attacks to trigger a powerful finisher. Use secondary attack to shoot with your ranged weapon. Finishers on range attacks require one stamina point. Alright. Hold being attacked for a while, then release to trigger a charge attack. It requires a stamina point. Hold secondary attack for a while. We saw the perfect time to trigger a more damaging perfect shot. Chain a secondary attack. After a series of main attacks to trigger a unique offhand combo. What do I need to do to get a perfect shot? I'm getting tagged here. Oh, the environment got him. Use the dodge action to evade, to evade enemy attacks, successfully evading attack. Triggers a perfect dodge, which restores a channel point. Alright. Use the parry action at the very last moment to counter enemy attacks. Successful parry weakens the enemy, will do more damage for a short time, and restores two channel points. I don't even have a shield, right? Now it's just a sword. Sorry, yeah, this tutorial all right, heals up right away. Continue to the end of the room to start your journey through the temple. If you want more practice time, use interaction. In the central marker of the room to call out for more enemies. Alright, I think we're good. How do we get out of here? Oh, we need a torch. Oh, what's this? Nice, give us some money. Jade rings are gifts from the dead gods to those who overcome the trials of the temple. Jade rings bound to your character and persist even after death. 
Breach exploration. You can trade trade rings into the underworld. In the underworld, you get access to new gear. Crystal skulls are powerful artifacts you can collect from fallen enemies. Crystal skulls are bound to your character and persist even after death. In each exploration, you can trade crystal skulls in the underworld in exchange of permanent upgrades. All right. Kind of each. Each temple is an, is an assembly of rooms linked together. Each room type represents the main reward you can expect to find in it. Each time you complete a room, you can choose your path and progress to the temple. Use the map action during your exploration to consult the temple layout. Relic, money. All right, a gold weapon upgrade, relic, attributes, healing, challenge. What is challenge? We're gonna have challenge anyway. Let's go. Get choices here. Let's go relic. Why not? Oh, what happened there? We just got cursed or something? Corruption. Watch out for your corruption gauge at the bottom right of your screen. Each door you go through increases the corruption. For each full gauge, you become corrupted, and crossing the next door will curse you. Can you avoid that? Guess not. What, are we playing for real now? can't light up anything. Greek, Greek kills. Ugh, my mouth gets tired. See, I can't, you know, I can't die. Now I want to do this stuff. After defeating an enemy, the greed kill timer starts. Chain kills to increase your greed kill count. The amount of gold released by enemies. Hitting enemies, perfect dodges and parries. Refill the timer. Greed kill series reset. If the timer drops off or if you take damage. Alright. See, like I was in the dark. Like, how do you even... Nothing to light up. How many different enemies there are? <laughs> ah, some traps. We got some money. I like how you can explore a little bit. Oh, we got some more baddies. Steel tipped talons, the main weapon is a claw. Does critical damage for three seconds after a perfect dodge. Um we get offered to guards restore plus four percent of health. Which is forty, that's like nothing. We'll take it, why not? Now we're like Wolverine, yeah, come on, bring it on. Good.
When you interact with the weapon, relic, or attributes altar, you can make an offering to the gods to claim one of the three presented boons. Make a gold offering to spend gold for it. Make a blood offering to get for free at the cost of corruption. What does corruption do, though? Um... Five percent of critical damage dealt heals you. That's huge. Ten percent heals you. Well, I don't want to really want to offer blood. Yeah, not yet. No, we'll stay away. All right, we're gonna get it nailed anyway. So we want to go for money, right? Let's go money. The map is huge. Dodge. I got tapped that game. Oh my god. Hammer, two handed weapon, charge attacks, removes the corruption. Hmm. Take it. Use a two handed weapon action to equip and attack your two handed weapon. Use. Alright. Oh yeah, they're a lot slower. My corruption is up. Alright, give me some money. Yeah, I gained 50% of damage taken in gold. Now I gotta heal up. Didn't offer anything though. Alright, we have another one. 2% greed kill time limit. Uh, we get um, we'll take that. Use the inventory action to consult your current gear. We also have access to codex and system options to this interface. All right, you can carry five of these things. What does that mean right there? We have a codex. Main objective, try a new diary, new entry in the export, defeat 50 lurkers. Defeat 50 lurkers without taking damage. 50 in a row? Are you shitting me? Death wives. I don't know what those other things are. Alright, moving on. Yeah, it's kind of those games I would do on my own. Oh, yeah, we need healing. Let's go to this healing place. Oh, let's go on here. Cadaverous infestation. Some enemies lie dormant, hidden within hosts, waiting for the moment to strike it yet. Other way, pray. Regular enemies can spawn. Additional enemies when killed? Like, that's the curse. Each time you fill your corruption cage, you're cursed. Curses have modifiers of the classic game rules and last until the end of the run. Beware, the fifth and final curse it will strongly jeopardize your chance of success. Shit.
Alright, what do we We can heal. Oh man, it costs curse though to heal up. We gotta do it though. And we're gonna get another one through here. Dang. Oh, the map isn't too big, but. So enemies can just spawn. Shadow word. Shadows can play tricks upon the eye. Best they need being aimed so the enemy can lie. Regular enemies are concealed while in the shadows. Concealed enemies are revealed by light and when attacking. You do 20% more damage in darkness. Yeah, but if you can't see them. It's gonna be rough. We can keep the bats away. That wasn't a good time. Plus three constitution. We'll take it. I don't even know what these stats do. Our constitution is health. Dexterity is damage. And then the other one is treasure. We found another dude. Blood priests. Alright. Alright, I'm nowhere near another curse, thank god. Oh, I'm taking damage big time. All right. I don't have any spears. All right. Attributes. Earn the powers of the guy of the dead gods and improve your attributes during a run. Each point of constitution increases your maximum health. Point of dexterity increases all your weapons' base damage. Each point of perception increases any gold income and the chance enemies drop gear objects. Alright, we got some decent money. Health, treasure, for both. Let's do the gold right here. Get both, drop that in there. Alright, gold seems to be the way to go, but attributes seem... Yeah, we need gold. I think I do run, run, then I'll die, and do you know, any videos we do after that. Kind of the game I would play on my own. Whoa, that was nuts.
Got the pistol, Indiana Jones style. All right, got some money. Another, another thing, a relic. You have six percent of gold's offering amounts. I'll take it. Torch out. I gotta remember, we could take on enemies with the environment. It's easier said than done, but. Oh, it scared me. Those things look like uh, beholders from the Dungeons and Dragons. Plus 15% damage to poison attacks. Sure. Can't hurt with doing more damage. Alright. Alright, breaking these pots doesn't do anything. We didn't get any curse, that's good. Should we go money? What does unknown do? Let's go unknown, find out. Why we're doing this, find it out. Kills, increase movement and speed for five seconds. Still like that. I like the hammer, but I wish you could have the same attack style and just uh just equip it. Hammer's a different button. Damn it. I'm stuck. That's actually dim. Can we break this wall? Oh, we can. Alright, we don't have any damage for daggers. Such a small reduction, though, in corruption. Light these bad boys up.
Plus 33% to all healing effects. I don't have any healing effects. Like, I'm taking mega damage here. So I could have lured them to chase me and then they would get caught in that. Something to think about. Oh, what's going on in here? And nothing. All right, we're going to get another, almost another curse. All right, where are we at now? Let's go unknown. For upgrade. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to get cursed before we hit the boss. That sucks. Oh, I died, damn it. Defeat, new record progress, gold collected. That sucks. Now what happens? Oh, you lose everything, I'm sure. The underworld is a place between life and death where the dead gods slumber. Using interaction action interaction action. You have the central steel stele in the main room. You can hold access to the underworld. Where you can offer crystal cults and jade rings or gods. Unlock new upgrades. All underworld upgrades are persistent and will remain after death. Alright, cool. Alright, we got blessings of the dead gods or powerful passive abilities. Help you during your subsequent explorations. Unlock blessings and equip one in each available blessing slot. Return to the underworld after each exploration and change your current blessings. Wait, ten skulls. Fire illuminates. Fury deal fifty percent more damage for six seconds. You take damage. Perhaps gain a thousand gold for perception of the start. Uh, that one looks good. Taken weaponry restore power to the first taken weapons of the temple. Unlocked weapons can be found in the Temple of Future Explorations. Charged attacks. Um. Fire attacks. I like that because they light up. Poison attacks. Perfect dodge triggers a volley of projectiles. These are different weapons, though. Um, charge attacks are critical. All right, wind slash. I like it. Weapon altars in the main hall offer gear before exploration. Restore altars for more choices of starting weapons. Upgrade altars and they may offer higher quality gear. Oh my god, like we need skulls big time. Divine favors let you refresh the gear offered in weapon and relic shrines. Unlock more divine favors and increase the number of times you can refresh the choices during an exploration. After each exploration, you regain all of your divine favors. Hmm. We need some more skulls for that. Alright. 
All right, that was our first run. So why don't we end the video here? We'll do a couple runs, try to get through this first temple. And then, um, yeah, we'll see. I mean, it looks like a cool game. Very different. With the curse system. Five curses, man. I don't really want to find out what that is. But if you like that video, hit like. If not, dislike that. It's perfectly fine. Subscribe if you want some more. It is Dr. Quads and the Doctor's out. Be safe. Thank you.